Hey everybody, I'm Mary and this is my simple cottage life. doesn't know I'm here. He's busy. Now he knows I'm here. He got here bright and early. I mean, he went right to work. No stopping at Jack in the Box. Got a nice mower. Everything is looking great on this side. Eventually he'll get next door. tree over there. Isn't it beautiful? chopping all that up super fine by going over it and over it like that. That's great. Good job, Willie. He 
you did the weed eating first on on the big places and then he got out his mower but I am loving the look of it it's gonna look nice I'm gonna trim these hedges I've got a hedge clipper myself I'm gonna trim that I'm not gonna rake up these leaves I know y'all think that's crazy but I don't mind the leaves and if I didn't have the leaves on here I would have dirt and that dirt is gonna just blow right into my house and I don't want that so there's that oh I'm gonna tell y'all something when he started up that weed eater my cats have never heard a weed eater before the kitties and oh my gosh you would have thought it was a monster coming out of the woods little uh little ginger I'm trying to pick up sticks and hold a camera at the same time that's kind of stupid anyway little ginger just ran like the dickens to get to me so I could assure him that it's okay and not to worry y'all this is a weed it's just a weed and I've stuck a couple of petunias in there with it but look it's got the prettiest little flowers they look like teeny tiny daisies and I love this I would love to have this for ground cover all over back here in the back where I want ground cover wouldn't that be pretty that would be pretty I like it My petunias are, um, not petunias, marigolds, they're really spreading out already. Looking good. There's the petunias. And over there. And there. Cats ran under the house. They're trying to. They're trying to avoid. The, like I said, they've never heard a mower or a weed eater before. So, you know that disrupts their little world, doesn't it? I'm sorry, kitties, but it's got to be done. Some things just have to be done. how good it looks out here really doing a good job I mean he's getting it nice and neat and clean and it looks great even around this old tree which I I hope never dies because this is a wonderful privacy screen. He's done a great job. And he's over there now, working away. It's looking great. I absolutely love watching yard work <laughs> no I like doing yard work but if I can't do I'd I'd rather watch <laughs> and I cannot do it I cannot y'all have seen how big this place is and I've been having to do the mowing hedge clipping picking up sticks burning when I can because it's so windy it's 
it's hard to pick a day when you can burn. Maybe one day out of a month you might could burn. And then you have to watch it constantly. He's out on that hill. He asked me yesterday how far down did I want him to mow. I said, as, long, as far as you're comfortable. I said, I'm not worried about it because the county will get the rest of it about twice a year or something. Otherwise, I don't much care. But just so this man right here, Willie, is comfortable, that's fine with me. I'm not worried about the hill. He's like, what are you, what are you filming for? No, actually, he knows I have a YouTube channel. I told him. You know, I bet YouTubers have to keep their little tripods and cameras or whatever close to them all the time. You never know when there might be a video opportunity. And out here in the country, <laughs> I don't get many great video opportunities. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Look at that hawk. I'm scared that hawk's gonna get my kitties. It scares me to death. And I know they will if given the opportunity Maybe they'll get those guinea fowl instead of my kitties. I hope so. Well, I don't want to kill them either, but you know what I mean. Better my neighbor's animal than mine, I guess. I've never driven a zero turn. I've seen my son get on one of those things and zippy zip, he twirls and almost does acrobats on them. It takes some learning, I'm quite sure. This is going to be so nice. It already smells great out here. I love the scent of fresh cut grass, in my case fresh cut weeds. Those storms are supposed to come in about 10 p.m. and last till about 12. High winds, possible tornadoes, we're in an, an enhanced risk for violent storms. Y'all keep, keep us in your prayers please. All those who are in the path of this violent storm it's springtime in East Texas, and that's when we have really bad storms. It's the price we pay for getting to live in this fantastic, wonderful, beautiful state. And so, I've been here all my life, and here I'll stay. I see the wind is already blowing the blossoms off these trees. Oh, it's getting pretty windy. You know what? I think I'll go put down my umbrella. Yeah, the wind's coming up too, too much for my... Too much for me to be happy about. I'm going to go do that. Alrighty then, let's go see how he did. He's gone. So let's go see how well he did. And he got all this done. And y'all, let me tell you something. Right back in here, I had two open where the, where the uh, underpinning was open. He and his wife yesterday 
got now look at this this right here if you don't think that is sharp i mean that will cut you that's bad plus it's full of those little bees but they got over here and they pushed that They pushed that uh, underpinning back and put some cement blocks where cats and possums and other things can't get up under the house. And that's the only area that they were getting in. Okay, let's see how this looks. Did a good job there. Everything's nice and cleaned off. Did a good job around this tree. Huh, he did a good job out here on the hill by the drive. Look how nice and neat everything looks, y'all. Let's go check out the hill. I'm sure those guineas can now. He got out here on the hill. He got he got over quite a ways out here. You know, I told him just be comfortable. Be comfortable how he felt safe, you know. Remember how this was all grown up while ago? Look how far down he got. Now y'all look, I'm standing at an angle. So <laughs> who Drove that lawnmower at an angle through here. Look how good that looks over there, y'all. He got that down, didn't he? There's a lot of these stumps and stuff here. It's a bad, it, it really needs, the stumps need to be ground out, but I don't have the money to pay for that. That's not going to happen. But look how much better that looks. And around the trees, I think he did a great job. He did. Uh, he used his mower. He used the weed eater. He did a good job. Got fire ants coming up out here. The pear trees. The apple tree. Look, it's putting. It's putting your buds on. Um, they're gonna have pears again this year, but. I got some last year. You have to get them when they're green. If you don't, the animals, the critters get them. They'll get every one all as far up as they can reach. Tear them up. Okay, so we did all this. Got all along the line here. We did it all back this way. Even got that old flower bed down, which is what I wanted. I truly did. It's another one of those. See all the bees? They're in there. Clean all that up. Have to be careful. Huh? Not watching where. I'm stepping, and I could be in some fire ants. Whew, lots of little bees. Lots and lots of bees. He okay, got all this cleaned up. I got a tree coming up right here, and I didn't know it. I'm going to have to get my my son down here with his chainsaw and cut that. I don't want that tree. This guy didn't have a chainsaw. Well, he would, hi kitty. Here's the kitty over here. Isn't he pretty? He's really pretty. Come here kitty. I won't hurt you. Okay. Be that way. You want me to pet you or not? He's pretty. He's real pretty. Okay, clean all this mess up here. Weed eat it all down. I've got to rake all that up. 
I'm not going to go all the way back here, but y'all can see how he got all this nice and neat. Got around these trees. Well, now the cat's following me. Make up your mind, dude. <laughs> got all the way around this. Yep, yep, yep. Oh boy. Got around my burn pile. That's great. And I told him not go over that direction, past the tree. I'm gonna just let it grow up. Let the little, whatever, trees and stuff like that grow up. That's a portion of the yard I won't be using anyway. So. Okay, he was real careful here. Not to, uh, we'd eat too close to this mesh fence because we discussed that and he did, he did a good job with it. Did a good job. Y'all hear the donkey in the background? <laughs> he did a good job. And then when he got done, he told me he was gonna lower my price per week. How about that? You can't beat that, can you? So I don't have to get out here and do this anymore, y'all. I am thrilled. Thank you, Willie. Thank you so much. Good job.